you've bought a new computer, and before you dispose of the old one, you take out that hard drive. The question is, what do you do with it? Well, the obvious answer is you destroy it. But what if, what if we made it into an art piece? Behold, the hard drive clock. This bulky piece of technology has now been transformed from something cluttering your closet to a functional art piece capable of impressing friends, family, and making all your neighbors jealous. According to Nelson Aguilar, writer for uh, MakeThis.com, uh, a hard drive makes a great desk clock because of its shape and its uh, functional design. So in order to help spice up your living room and impress your family, family and friends, I'll first tell you about what tools you'll need. Second, I'll show you how to take apart your hard drive. And third and finally, I'll show you how to build your hard drive clock. The tools you'll need are a hammer, a torque screwdriver, a steel hole punch, and a battery operated clock set. All these tools can be found at Lowe's and the battery operated clock set can be found at Michael's. Now that you know what tools you'll need, let's start the demolition process. So what you want to do first is you want to take off the cover to your hard drive. You can do this by unscrewing the screws that are around the edge. However, there is a sticker here and underneath the sticker there is a hidden screw. So make sure you get this one before you take the cover off because trust me, you will not get the cover off unless you take that screw out. This is really easy, just unscrew and then um, it's not glued down or anything so you should just be able to pop it off. Now once inside, there aren't many pieces that you need to care about. However, we're going to be focusing in on these mirrored discs. So what you want to do is you want to take out these mirrored discs. In order to do that, you have to unscrew this metal ring right here. This is really easy. All you have to do is just follow, you know, how you unscrew things. <laughs> and they come out really simple. So once you get this out, simply pull this disc off and set it aside because we will be using it for later. Now, you can't get the discs out yet because of this orange and black piece. So what you want to do is you want to unscrew this as well. You can't lose it because it's connected to the rest of the pieces for the hard drive. So, you know, just let it flop around. It's not a problem. It won't damage anything. What you want to do next is you want to move this out of the way and start taking the discs out. They're usually separated by these black pieces, but you know these are garbage. You can just throw them anywhere. Oh. So let's, let's see if we can get this bad boy out. Alright, you, you will have some difficulty, like I am right now, because these things are meant to not come out. So once you get it out, you'll see this silver area right here. What you want to do, because this is the heart of your hard drive clock, you have to take this out and you have to build it carefully, because if you mess up, you might as well throw this whole thing away right now. So what you want to do is you want to take this out, because you have to start cutting. And that reminds me, you actually need a hacksaw for this, and that is in my backpack. Totally forgot to get it. So now you see this three-tiered cake right here. You have the top part, the middle part, and this bottom part. In order to separate these things, you have to hit out this little center button right here. I actually just put a piece of paper here because I had separated it earlier. So what you want to do is take your steel hole punch and your hammer and you want to hit from the outside through. It'll just pop out and you can grab it with your, with your fingers and that's that. Next, you want to take your hacksaw and you want to cut off this top part and this bottom part, leaving the middle part. This is really easy if you have sharp uh, saw blades. And remember, they're steel cutting saw blades. Don't use a wood saw because you aren't going to get anywhere with a wood saw. So once you get that, your piece should look like this. Okay. It's really thin, 
And this is where you begin your demolition. So now that I've shown you how to take apart your hard drive, I will now begin showing you how to uh, build your hard drive clock. So what you want to do is take your battery operated clock set and put the piece that we had cut off earlier on top of it. Make sure the holes are facing up. Okay. Then you want to take it and you will put it on the back side. This allows the, the clock to be set in. Next, you want to take one of your mirror discs and put it on the inside, like so. Then, you want to take that piece that we had set aside earlier and put it right here. You want to screw it in to hold everything together. So, let's see if I can do that. These holes are really small. So you have to be careful and you have to have a gentle touch because you can lose the screw and then you're pretty much screwed. <laughs> okay, so next you want to take the golden nut that comes with your battery operated clock set and actually screw it in. I did this backwards. You were supposed to put the nut on before you put that silver thing on. So we're going to have to backtrack a little bit because the clock will not work unless it is like as it needs to be. So take this off once again, if you can actually get it off, and then screw down the golden nut. This will hold everything in place and prevent your uh, clock from falling apart. So, once again, take this and we put it on, we get our screw, and we put it through. Hopefully it'll go in this time. And of course not. However, you don't really have to worry about that. So, this is what your hard drive clock now looks like. With the battery operated clock set, you get these hands that pretty much tell you the time. So what you want to do is on the back of every battery operated clock set are directions on how to put these hands on. It's really simple and if you follow the directions you should not have any problems at all. So what you want to do is start with the minute hand. You simply slide it on until it clicks like so. Now, the, bat uh, the clock set comes with a black rubber washer. You want to put that on there, which separates the minute hand from the hour, the hour hand from the minute hand. Then you want to put the minute hand on. And this is a little bit difficult because on the top here, it's actually rectangular. And it confused me the first time because it was like, wait, how can a rectangle go onto a circle? But, you know, I realized after looking at it that it, it worked. So then you want to take this smaller wash, uh, nut and you want to just put it right on there, like so. It takes a little bit of practice because it's just so small and delicate that, you know, my, my large fingers cannot uh, possibly grasp the uh, delicate edges. So it should look like that. Next, you want to take the second hand. This clicks right in and holds everything together and prevents it from moving. So, it should go in like so. There you go. That is your hard drive clock completely complete. Yes. <laughs> in order to get it working, you have to put a battery in it. So, make sure you do that before you mount it onto anything. So, now that I've shown you what tools you'll need, how to dismantle your hard drive clock, your hard drive, and build it into a clock, I hope you can take what you've learned here and do it yourself. Because this DIY project is perfect for impressing family, friends, and making all those neighbors jealous while getting rid of your hard drive.